Hi, this is Roger Eastlick, and this is going to be a hands-on review of GoToMyPC, which is remote uh, desktop um, remote control software for your PC. It allows you to remotely get into a PC from anywhere and um, look at what's on the desktop, share the desktop, um, transfer files to and from that remote machine. Um, so in other words it's a it's another one of, it's another huge productivity tool and time saver when you uh when you're away from your your home PC or your main work PC and you want to get into it um features just to go through that real quick so you get remote access you can connect to any computer from a Mac or a PC um uh you can also oh well okay an easy installation okay we'll see that in just a second it's encrypted so it's got 128 bit encryption which uh, I guess is pretty good and mobile access so you can actually get to your machines your you can actually access your um, your machine remote machine from an iPad or iPhone or from an Android um, device you've got copy and paste you've got desk desktop shortcut big deal right um, you've got remote printing so you can print like uh, on your home PC or on your work PC from wherever you are um, file transfer so you can transfer a file like I said fi transfer files back and forth individual usage reports keyboard locking and screen blanking so if you're not there and uh, you want to work but you don't want other people like spying on what you're doing you can or kids at home pounding might come and pound on the keyboard then um, you can lock the keyboard and, and blank the screen so nobody can see what's going on uh, multi-monitor support uh, pretty common thing a lot of people have two or more monitors now, or two monitors now I've got two monitors sound the remote sound which is really cool it allows you to listen to stuff uh, video the sound from videos or audio files um, uh, on the remote device whether it's your iPhone iPad Android phone um, uh, and you and you're connected to, for example your home or your work PC you can listen to videos and the audios from that um, and then guest invite so let's go ahead and install this in order to install that you would go ahead and um, first you sign up for the free trial if you haven't already so let's see that would be here and you would go through this and it's going to ask you for your credit card and everything but it is easy to un uninstall and to cancel if you want to I've canceled Citrix products before and actually gone back to them later on and um, had no problem whatsoever when I canceled. They actually, it's pretty cool, they don't cancel right away. They allow your subscription to run out if you're on a subscription or a, or a free trial and, and then you, they just don't renew. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, you can easily, you can safely try the software without having to worry about um, you know not being able to get out or some or some tricks or anything like that they they don't do that uh, my experience with Citrix has been really good so let's see um, then you'd want to log in once you've gotten your credentials okay we'll put our email address in here we can Password, hopefully. Let's see if this works. Welcome back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and click on the yes install, go to my PC. Oops, looks like we're going to put Java on there. We'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like um, what happened was I successfully installed Java, 
and now it is completely it is completing the installation of go to my PC and so you need to click on the download button uh, keep it it's like 20 seconds for the download and then get go to the install there we go click on yes next This seems to be going hap this happening pretty fast. I'm using a virtual machine, a VMware machine, virtual machine inside of my computer, so it's going to be it should be a little bit faster on a regular computer. Um, time I up upgrade my computer anyway, I guess. All right, looks like it's finished. Alright, looks like it wants my account information again. It lets me log in. Nickname for this computer. Tests. How about that? Create an access code for this computer. Account password is stored only in this computer, known only to you. Okay, so I don't know. I'm not sure if I really need to do this or not. I mean, I don't think you need to see this. So I'm going to put in an access code. I'm going to confirm the access code. I pause the screen. Put in those things, two things and then click OK. So let's do that. Okay, I clicked OK on that. I guess I could have left it there because it was all dotted out in the first place. But anyway, let's see. No, let's see. Uh, Internet Explorer, my default browser, okay, I guess if I have to. Helper, enable. I guess. Anyway. Now what? All right, so now we're we're good to go. Should be good to go. Let's try to go to my main machine. This is my main machine. I'm going to go to here though. I'm going to use Oh, that's not my main machine. Wait. Get rid of this. Bring over a browser. Here momentarily. Waiting for Google Google Chrome to, to start up here. It's going to, I don't know, maybe not. Here we go. There we go. Bring it over to the screen. Alright, how about if we go to go to my PC? probably need to log in but I've got an answer for that I should just be able to use my go-to RoboForm my RoboForm we go let's see if we can save this oh well Ah, there we go. That's what I want right there. Alright, so... 
Here we are right here. Test to go to my PC. Connect. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. Looks like it says if you have download problems, you can actually use a universal viewer, which works from a public internet terminal, which is pretty cool. And then, like I say, in fairness um, to the speed of go to my PC, I'm using it just on a virtual machine, so I think that I'm quite sure it would run a little bit faster than this. Because for some reason my virtual machine is notoriously slow until I get my new new PC. So launch successful. It says if it doesn't start within a minute, you're supposed to manually download it. I am going to go ahead and manually download this. Uh, let's see, here we go. Progress. Turn to my computers. In session. Connect. Oh, actually, on the other screen, I've got this right here. Initializing your connection. That was that passcode that you needed to set up plug that in there and oops this my friends is what you see this up here as you can see it's pretty cool it's a nice cool green screen test it shows you this is I mean, this is my remote looking at my remote machine which I kinda messed up a little bit so here's this. I'm in my remote machine now. So I can get rid of this window if I want to. Click around here. See, you can see where I installed the Java on that remote machine. Um, so I don't really have a whole lot of uh, applications on this remote machine. It's basically got some. Um, oh, it's got a few things in it. Not too much. But as you can see, it's pretty fast moving around. You got some tools. Um, see what happens if I want to say I could go to a. I can go and set it to a printer if I wanted to. Um, I don't have anything. I don't have any files or anything on here. I don't think. I won't do that because I don't think it'll work very well. So it looks like I could. Um, Here is how it looks like I could do. Uh, now this is pretty cool. This is how I can transfer files back and forth. Looks like uh, this is from my my uh, client machine where I am. This is the remote here. I don't really have any files out there. Let's say I did want to. Let's say I did want to do something out there. Uh, what do I got? I have a Liberty Mutual file I could transfer over there. Boom. It's gone. Done. No problem. I could delete that if I wanted to. It's a PDF file. So that's pretty slick. I actually like this better than... Uh, this I like better than Log Me In. Anyway, we're running up against the time. This was an install and a little bit of a review of Go to My PC. Gives you an idea of how easy it is to install. Um, I am pretty impressed. This is Roger Eastlick. Um, you can click on the link below to get a free trial. Free trial of Go to My PC. Try it out for 30 days, absolutely free. Um, I think they ask you for a credit card, but don't worry, it's easy to cancel if you need to. But it's a uh, very nice software. Thanks for watching.